Twilight, look! A piece of paper! Dude, awesome! What's on it? Who cares? Learn to enjoy the small things, Starlight. Like my penis. Anyway, when Shining Armor and I were kids, our parents gave us good boy points when we did something they deemed worthy of praise. At the end of each week, they would add up the points and give the winner this crown to signify who they loved more. It was just a game, but our malleable young minds internalized that constant fear of inadequacy. It's why Shining and I have achieved so much. We were incentivized from an early age to constantly strive towards greater and greater accomplishments. It's also why I I have low self-esteem, horrible OCD, and I'm terrified of depending on other people. Well, that's... not... good? Everyone scars their children, Starlight. It's unavoidable. The trick is to hurt them in a way that motivates them. So, Twiggy calls an emergency best friend's 24-hour ops meeting, and she's like, All right, this is our prize. The crown of the goodest boy. My faggot brother ran off to college and took it with him before I could win it back. I haven't had tendies in over 10 years. But even if you didn't win, you could still use your good boy points, right? No, it was brutal. Only the goodest boy could have tendies, and that dude bro piece of shit robbed me of my last chance. You could just make some yourself. They're only good if mommy makes them. Well, what about some nuggies? You listen to me, motherfucker. Nuggies are for the dishonored. Nuggies are for weak souls, too craven to seize destiny and claim the tendies they are owed. I am a princess. I will accept nothing but the juiciest, crispiest, all white meat tendies made from farm-raised chickens. Okay, so how do we get past all that new security they got in Canterlot? They've even got huge spinning blades to kill Pegasi in the event of an aerial assault. Fuck their security. We storm the castle, no man left alive. I'll seize the crown for myself and throw my brother in the sparkle gulag. Darling, Brosephine, family, I'm a ding dong. Why don't we just take it down a notch here, okay? Sorry, I've been pissed off about this for like a decade, and it's only been a couple weeks since that old Sombra thing. I'm fucking amped, bro. I want to crack some skulls. Look, we're all well-rounded, multi-talented individuals, right? Absolutely not. Okay, besides Applejack, my point is I think we can be a little bit more creative than murdering and pillaging. I can do other stuff. It just has to involve apples at least tangentially. Like what? I can play music. What genres? Applecore. All right, since Twice feeling a little bloodthirsty, at the moment, as her second in command, I will assume control of this mission. Oh, hold on. Who the hell ever made you second in command? Genetics, my dear. The hierarchy goes alicorns, unicorns, pegasi, convicted felons, illegal immigrants, and then earth ponies. Eh, can't even argue. We farm the dirt. Because that's what we are. Anyway, we need a multi-directional plan of attack. Fluttershy, Spike, you get up there in the air balloon and enter through the castle's ventilation ducts. If me and Dash can get down into the passages underneath, we should be able to sneak in that way. AJ, you come around the courtyard about noon and play some music for the guards as a distraction. It'll be tough, but if we get up, get down, and come around, we can work together helping Twilight win the crown. You've been practicing that speech, haven't you? Hey, Pinky, we need you to fly the balloon. You up for it? Yo! Pinky, you, you paying attention, man? You've just been sitting there staring for like half an hour. She ate one of those weird gummy bears she gets from that rave chick in Manhattan. And so, Rarity, being the intelligent, beautiful, clever, talented, strategically astute, no-nonsense best pony that she is, wastes no time in implementing her plan, and the ops are a go. AJ starts singing and the scene immediately changes because even the show staff didn't want to hear that song. Unfortunately, we encounter some trouble right off the bat when Captain Punk Poe is shot down in the line of duty. And twice like, Pinky, what the hell happened? <laughs> Pinky, words. You need to use words. You should not be operating an aircraft right now. Oh, no. 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 Oh, yes. No. Yes. Fuck! Look, just distract him. You don't need to suck his dick or anything. Okay. Just maybe kiss the tip a little. <laughs> no, bad touch. So, Rarity humiliates Dash both for strategic purposes and because it's a wonderful thing. 
That should happen more often. Now, of course, homeboy is thirsty as fuck, and Dashie's like, the only way your penis is ever going near my mouth is grilled and covered in ketchup. Oh my god, I finally get it. You know, I've kind of had a thing for you ever since we were kids. Yeah, I fucking noticed. And all this time, I assumed you just hated me and thought I was a huge loser. Oh, hold up, man. I wouldn't put it like that. I can't believe I didn't figure it out until now. Yeah, I don't hate you. You're just... Not my- You're a huge lesbian! Wh what? God, I'm an idiot! It's so fucking obvious, too! It is? I always called you a tomboy or whatever, but this makes so much more sense! Whoa, hold on, back it up, back it up. Why do you think I'm gonna- Don't worry, man, I get you're not ready to, you know, come out with it yet, and your secret is safe with me. Dude, I- I'm not- I'm just glad I don't have to hate myself anymore, thinking I'm not good enough for you. It's one of the reasons I kinda- Gave up on life for a while. I figured, why the hell even try if the only girl I ever loved can't stand to be around me? I... Yeah, that's me. Huge lesbian. <laughs> Celestia, seriously, I'm gonna eat these things if they don't shut the fuck up! So, Butternut and Dragon Bro are in this pit awaiting a slow death from starvation, and Spike's like, yeah, I always wanted to be like Shiny and Twilight's little brother, but I don't think they saw it that way. I was more like their bitch. Dude, Spike, that's how all little brothers get treated. Parents take their rage out on the oldest sibling, and then he turns around and takes his out on the next oldest, and so on, until it reaches the youngest, who's just shit out of luck and has to bear the weight of all that anger or bully some other kid at school. The fact that they abused you means they accepted you as part of their family. First of all, they didn't abuse me. Second of all, no. That's horrible and you should feel bad for saying it. There is something really wrong with you. Look, I'm just saying, you give off a certain vibe. There's just nothing wrong with it. How could you not tell me I look like a giant rug muncher? How could you not know? Hello, Spike. What are you guys doing down here? We fucked up. Our plan kind of worked, but we're lost, and Dashie's got a lot on her mind right now. I'm gonna call this. So, they're all like, Twipe, we fucked it up. We never should have commandeered this thing in the first place. You have a perfect record. No matter how shit your ideas are, everything always works out fine anyway. It's almost as if the very universe we live in is constructed so that you can't fail. So, I guess the lesson of the day is... I'm always right? Is there even an argument to the contrary? So, they do it twice way minus the murder in prison camps, everything works perfectly, and they get to the throne room undetected, but she still loses because Shining just hides behind the throne and declares himself the winner before she can actually take the crown? Fuck you, Shiny. But then Spike's like, ha, gotcha bitches. How in Equestria did you do it? Luna, help me. The little sibling uprising has come. Too long have we waited in the shadows, always getting your hand-me-down toys, always losing at Smash Bros, always eating that last shitty part of the cereal at the bottom of the box with all the crumbs. Unless it's Cinnamon Toast Crunch, because then that part has all the extra sugar, and that's awesome. But you know that, don't you? And you take it, just like you take everything else from us. Well, no longer. We are united, and you shall fear us. Man, I just realized, I don't need a stupid tinfoil crown. I have a real one. You may have won when we were kids, Shiny, but in the game of life, I'm objectively better than you. Yeah, I know. Wait, I was talking. I cared so much about this shit when I was a kid. I guess it took re-experiencing it as an adult to make me realize how trivial the whole thing is. This shit doesn't matter. Why don't we just... Put this whole rivalry behind us. You know, I think that's a good idea. Let's go get lunch. Is it my hair? Do I have gay hair? Is that what it is? Are you fucking kidding me? I finally win, and suddenly it doesn't matter. This is bullshit. Such is our lot in life, Spike. They will always find a way to slight us. I didn't even get tendies. You know what, Spike? I'm pretty sure I just thought of a perfect use for all these geese.